Hey, what's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and it's time to just transform Transformers Legacy Evolution Leader Class Dreadwing. So without further ado, let's just transform it. So the first thing you want to do, obviously, is flip in the landing gear. Then you're going to come to these sections here, untab them, and bring them forward. I like to take these sections and just kind of rotate them around and bring them forward on this hinge. Just makes things a little bit easier later. Next, you want to untab the wings from the legs. So just pull them up. Once that is done, you can now take the legs and rotate them down, straighten the leg out. And you're gonna take this fin here, untab it from here, swing it up, and there'll be a little tab slot connection right up in here. Line it up and tab it in so it's sitting like that. Flip out the toes. And then rotate the leg, so we'll be facing what's going to be forward. And there you have a leg all done. Second verse, just like the first. Bring that down. Straighten out the leg. Bring the fin around. Bring it up. And tab it in. Open up the toes. Rotate the leg. And there you have the lower body done. Next thing you're going to do is take the arms and bring them up. Untab them and just swing them out to the sides. Once that is done, you're gonna come back here, just split open this backpack, just open this as far as it will go. Now you want to take the waist and just rotate it 90 degrees. You can take these sections and swing them to the back, swing them to the back, and then you can straighten that waist back out. And now you want to take these sections here, just bring them in a little bit, rotate it down halfway. Bring that fin up and then rotate it the rest of the way. Do the same thing here. Just bring that in a little bit so you can swing that down. You have the clearance to bring that fin up and then bring that down the rest of the way. So now comes the tricky part with getting the backpack in place. So what you want to do is you want to take this and just bring it back just to get his head out. If his head doesn't get caught anyway. There we go. Just get that up and over his head. So what you want to do now is you want to take this entire section and push this down. So basically you're collapsing this hinge inside of this section. So push this down and collapse this hinge inside like that. So that's what you're doing. You're collapsing that down like that and that will allow you to now take this nose cone Take it and fold it in, and you want to push it in, you want to push it hard, and it will just kind of thoop itself into place to where that is lined up the way it is supposed to be lined up. Like that. And now you can see all that is lined up. So once you do that, now you can rotate these shoulder pads up, kind of get them out of the way. Now you can bring this down again the shoulder pads kind of get in the way just work around them so get those things into place and now you slide the waist up and it will lock right up into that nose cone section and it'll just snap right in there and now you can bring these sections up there's a tab slot connection that'll happen right there you just bring them up and they'll just drop themselves into place again get the shoulder pads out of the way and that will just drop itself into place right there. And then you can close this up. Now you want this, this cockpit windshield to thread through like that. And once that's done, you can close all of this up. And all that will sit the way it's supposed to. You can then just bring those shoulders back. Bring those shoulders back. Bring the arms down. Get those shoulder pads in place. And now for the arms, you're just going to extend that elbow, flip out the fist. There's a panel right here, just flip it in. You have a tab slot connection right there at the wrist. Close that up. Same thing on the other side. Just extend that double jointed elbow, flip out the hand, flip down that panel, close that up. Get everything situated there and him standing straight. And there you have Dreadwing in his robot mode. And now to get him back into alt mode, just open up this panel, bring it all the way up, flip the hand in, and then collapse the elbow 
back and up like so you kind of bring the shoulder pad out of the way straighten that arm out you kind of bring it forward and same thing here just open up this panel all the way flip the hand in and then collapse that elbow up and back get the shoulder pad out of the way bring it up and bring the arm forward and now split the backpack here just kind of get everything out of the way you can untap these sections here and just rock these down you want to extend the waist which will unclip this section here just give it a pull like that and then you can bring all of this up take the nose cone and just straighten it out collapse that up again just kind of get these shoulder pads rotated out of the way as best you can and then just bring all of this up and over his head Make sure you have your clearance and it should drop right in there like that take these sections here again just bring that in a little bit bring it up halfway bring that fin down and then rotate the rest of the way up bring that in rotate flip that down and rotate that the rest of the way up and now we can just open this up as far as it will go and then rotate the waist 90 degrees Swing these sections around to the other side and then rotate the waist back the way it was. And now I'll take the two halves here and just connect it all together. Once that is done, take the arms, bring them forward. They will tab together like so and then drop them down. And now for the legs, just rotate the leg in, close the toe up. Take this fin, untab it, bring it around, rotate it down. There's a little tab slot connection that'll happen right here. Just line it up, tab it in, then just fold the leg up. You want to basically bring it out one click to have it aligned and then rotate it up like so. Now you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Just rotate the leg in, flip in the toe, untab this fin, swing it around and tab it in there. Fold the leg up and then rotate the leg up like so. Now you just want to bring the wing down. There's a tab slot connection that'll happen right there. Just bring that down, tab it in. Same thing here, just bring that down, tab it in like so. Now you can take the shoulder pad section and just rotate the entire armature around. This is the way I do it because it's just kind of the easiest way to manipulate all the joints. And then just bring it back and they will tab in, get everything nice and tab together. And then lastly, just flip out your landing gear. And there you go. There you have Dreadwing back in alt mode.